Hello friends and welcome to a look at how you can use the alpha lock option on raster brushes to help colour only where you've previously coloured. And this is a common feature in the layers of most drawing programs but isn't something that's available to use in the columns of OpenTunes or to Homer. But this is useful to be able to colour over already drawn areas to avoid going outside the lines. And can also work to simulate painting only within a selected area which again, you can't do by default in OpenTunes or to Homer. So again this week I'm using this drawing of Asher from the upcoming cartoon Salt and Light and I've drawn my ink lines already in this one level and ordinarily you colour in the same level as the ink lines so you could use the bucket tool, choose a colour and then just click on screen to paint that area and then do the same with each of the other areas. Or, if you're using a smart raster level, as I am here, you can use the smart raster brush tool to just paint the colour into the areas. But again, it's really easy to go outside of the lines. And using the alpha lock option, that stops you from going outside the lines. So if I just undo these colours here to get back to the lines only. And this feature only works on raster levels. So the first thing we'll do is we'll create a new raster level by clicking the button on the toolbar. Give it a name if you can. Move that column behind the lines column so the lines will be shown in front of the colour. And then if you select the lines column, use the select tool and drag a rectangle around your lines. Press Ctrl C to copy those lines. Move to the paint column and press Ctrl V. And now on your paint level, you've got a copy of those lines. If I hide the ink level, you'll see, I can still see the lines on the paint level. So I'll leave that turned off for now. And then we want to fill in a block color to act as the area to alpha lock to. So in the paint level, click to add a new color. Choose any color you like for this block color. Then with the bucket fill tool, simply color in all of the areas that you'll be painting over. And after filling, use the brush tool to fill any missed non-closed areas. And then comes the fun part. Simply add a new palette to your palette area. Go to the raster tab. Choose the brush that you want to paint with. Then choose your colour. And I'll paint this hat first, because that's kind of a a deep red colour. That'll do for now. And then go to the settings tab, scroll to the very bottom and look for the lock alpha setting. And with it set to zero, that means you can paint anywhere on screen, like this. But if you move it all the way to the right, to one, you can only paint with this colour already on screen. And of course you can move it in between to paint a little bit inside and a little bit outside in varying percentages but ordinarily you'd want to either zero to paint anywhere or one to paint only where there's colour. And you'll notice that you're painting over the line as well as the fill but that doesn't matter because we've got the ink level that's placed in front of the paint level so then you'll keep the line. Also instead of painting over the areas where you can go over the internal lines even though you're not going over the external if I undo that you can still use the bucket fill tool to bucket fill any solid areas but the brush tool is really useful when you want to use the specific effects of the brush for instance if I change to the airbrush and then again go to the settings scroll to the bottom and change the lock alpha to be 1 I can now use the airbrush just against the outside of the colour. And I can make the colour darker and then add a little bit of colour to this side. And then again, showing the ink lines in front, you can now see the gradation of colour. So if you painted the block colour for different pieces of your character on different levels, you could paint specifically over only that one area, giving you a lot more control over where you apply your paint. 
So there's one way to separate your paint layer from your ink lines layer and to use the alpha lock setting of the raster brushes to paint only where you've already painted. Give it a go. I think that even if you don't use this feature for all of your painting, it'll still help you from time to time. And that's a guarantee. Thank you.